TVS diodes are assigned different ratings based on their ability to stop electrical surges. And these ratings help engineers select the best and most protective diode option when building and assembling devices. The peak pulse power rating, or PPK, of a TVS diode is a measure of the power that is dissipated in the TVS junction during a power event. The PPK of a TVS is defined by two parameters, the IPP, which is the peak pulse current, and the V-clamp, which is the clamping voltage. IPP is the maximum pulse current that a TVS can withstand, and V-clamp is the voltage threshold at which the TVS clamps the transient during a surge event. PPK is calculated by multiplying IPP and V-clamp. Higher PPK does not necessarily mean better protection for a TVS device. Lower clamping voltage is desired for better protection, even if it results in a lower PPK rating. The peak pulse power rating shows how much power the TVS can absorb without damage, but doesn't always predict its ability to protect a circuit. Therefore, it's more important to focus on the clamping voltage when assessing the effectiveness of a TVS in safeguarding a circuit. Looking at a practical example, consider the peak pulse current versus clamping voltage IV characteristic. This example shows three options for selecting a TVS diode, TVS1, TVS2, and TVS3. To protect the IC, it has to have a failure voltage of 14 volts, and the application requires a surge test current of 10 amps. This means in order to protect the IC, the TVS should have a clamping voltage below 14 volts for peak pulse currents of 10 amps and above. Each TVS device has the same breakdown voltage of approximately 7 volts and are rated for a maximum peak pulse current of 20 amps. The PPK rating of TVS1 is 300 watts for a 20 amp pulse. The PPK rating of TVS2 is 400 watts for a 20 amp pulse. And finally, the PPK rating of TVS3 is 500 watts for a 20 amp pulse. TVS1 is designed with lower clamping characteristics and does not reach the IC failure voltage of 14 volts until the device is conducting an IPP of 17 amps, well above the 10 amp requirement. TVS2 does not reach the 14 volt clamping until just under 11 amps. Theoretically, this device would protect the IC, however there is very little design margin. TVS3 clamps at 14 volts at an IPP of approximately 7 amps. In other words, due to the higher clamping characteristic, a 10 amp pulse will likely damage the IC even though the TVS will remain undamaged. In this scenario, TVS1 is the best solution, despite the lower peak pulse power rating when compared to TVS2 and TVS3. To learn more about Semtech's leading TVS diodes, visit Semtech.com or read the TVS Peak Pulse Power blog.